Hello my friends. Let's try this angle. It's kind of like a sideway from me. We'll see if this will be better or not. Also I have in here magnifier light is on and it's by my window. The blinds wide open. It's sunny right now in here but it's like it's 6 47 p.m. So the day is running out but I decided to create with you this butterfly that we did with you recently unboxing okay there's the wind charm with all the pieces parts that we will need so right now we're going to put this away I will have to use uh, two pen in here one for regular well for the gems pen love this one shiny pen it's kind of dark right now when I go close and I will use our new pen that we recently did already kind of review with you I love this pen to use for the gems I mean yes for the bigger gems now I need this and this and I will put aside in here hopefully no, that's going to create shadows, so I have to put away, maybe in a sofa next to me. Uh, you can see that I have some, this is the gems, uh, well, not besides this. So this is the gems that was already pre-packed, the Ziploc bags. And then I have in here gems that I already found in my stash exactly the same gems that I will need for my butterfly only gems I did not have like I do have a lots of uh, crystal clear but believe it or not they are also have a different shading so this is going to be uh, I open new one so now uh, this is my going to be my leftovers that will go donated all right, now I will give you a little bit a uh, scoop or hint. Oh, actually, I need this one so I can see the numbers and match because there's a three colors of blue in here. So I will put them on the top of my gems as colors say, like this. This one going a darker, aqua, purple pink okay last night I did the other side so the other side is done but I'm not going to show you <laughs> I'm not gonna show you till we do this side I need maybe tweezers do I need a tweezers let's see so the butterfly is from fan cell and we just recently did with you video unboxing and lots of you said that you absolutely love a butterfly and you would love to work on I will open the whole thing so it's not on my way and we will work on so I will start with the very fancy gems first I find uh, for the little projects like this when I do a bigger design I mean bigger gems first then later easy for me to place a small one around them if I put first small diamonds later there is a chance the big gem would not fit because I put maybe too close of the too close to the big gem and big gem doesn't fit you know what I mean so let me zoom we'll see where I need to keep this one in here so I will have to okay we will still need to have the no, no, I just want to try this, this position, okay, looks like I need more this way, let me find a spot that the whole butterfly will be visible, maybe if I hold it like this sideway, or facing you for now, would that be nice? 
okay so first we're going to place number 13 and that is the biggest gems we have in here and this pan holding like a charm love it for the big gems and carefully not to rush we're going to place and also push it down with your hand make sure it's thick because I do not push with this pen at all because I don't want to it's very really squishy it's really soft so the, basically you just need to barely touch there we have one one can we flip it <laughs> we have one gem left okay next one biggest one will be number 12 I don't know not exactly biggest one but okay this is all I have for this color left right now 12 it's right in here basically one on each wing and two on a body of butterfly I was working on this design yesterday and I had absolutely so much fun with it because gems are beautiful and it looks so pretty in the end and I cannot wait to actually assemble so there you go much more left of the green one usually uh, the biggest gems they always count uh, hand like by the hand count so because we don't need lots of them and uh, smaller gems I guess they just like weight them in so next one number 10 we're going to from, from higher number to lower and I literally will put them all on a tray so we can see how many we have and how many we will have left and if it's a little bit too far for you right now to watch that's okay I will be showing you this close enough a little bit later I can tell that this diamond's a little bit dusty Okay, that's it. Oh, I forgot to show you. So we have six left of this one. And they are dusty. So I'm going to push it and literally kind of like, even with my finger, to rub a little bit to make it shiny. Or just do with some cloth later on the end. Okay, we don't need this one now. Now we have, let's do 11. 11, we have, it's kind of like a yellow, greenish, most like a yellow color. And that is number 11. Okay. I don't know if I like this angle for myself to record. Because the camera is kind of like a sideway from me and I have to pick up to see what you see. Not convinced that is a good idea, but you know why I put like this? Because if I put camera right there where my window and it's uh, sun kind of seeping through, you will see on my white mat uh, the tripod legs uh, shadow and that's kind of like some gems would be in a sunny spot and some um, you know sh sh shady so that's why I put on the side so we, it's kind of like going to be experiment video I don't know if I'm going to like to record like this more but for now, okay. Okay, I think that's it. 
two on each wing, three on each in here, and two on the body. Okay, that's all. So we have lots of left of this one as well. That's the old diamonds. And now, now it's like my three, like this, like this is like my favorite kind of gems. You see this, this purples. Look at that, how, how pretty they are. And this is like ABs. That's pretty, very, very pretty. Um, okay, let me try it. Maybe sun a little bit went out because it's so weird for me to watch. Oh, I think it's okay. Okay, I will turn this to me. I'm sorry. I have to see it. But the light. Okay, uh, it's light shining, but... <laughs> Um, well, maybe that's way you will see diamonds uh, shine better. We'll see. Let's try it. It could be I create shadow because now it's a different angle. I kind of feel weird to have the other angle. These gems are just so stunning. Love it. I don't know if I can bring the clothes. There. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. So the number nine, number nine. This wax is really sticky. Golden diamond, really good. I like it. I just don't like the too much. I, you know what? Let me try just to get rid of some from the pen that I squeezed too much. So now it's going to be just like a, a little bit sticking out up there. I don't know if you can see it. So this chunk of piece I'm just going to put away because it bothered me because too much coming out. Um, and let's see if this is, will be better. Oh yeah, definitely better work now. So two on each wing, got it, and one, one, okay, that, that's it for this one, I guess. Uh, and we have a nice five of them left. See how fast we are going, and it's already start to show in very pretty colors. Okay, I feel bad, let's turn to you. Let's turn to you. There. Lots of this AB left in here. If I can show you more close to the camera, let's get the focus. Kind of like a light. Sometimes they have more intense color. This one is really gentle, the rainbow color. Not very, very intense. Uh, number eight feels like this gems a little bit mix with more brighter like for example this one that I put right now I feel like it's more colorful than the other or maybe not let's see Yeah, feel feels like this gem a little bit more colorful than the other one, and it's like a whole pack like this. Uh, maybe mix colors with different in a packaging when they were uh, sorted out from the computer, like our machine. Well, no, this one probably plays by the hand, but yes, the way they produce them sometimes uh, different color can mix into the bags. Because most of them kind of very, very light rainbow. Let me see, I will pick the more colorful in here.
one more let's see oh this one's pretty this one is pretty okay we are done with this color now and look how much left a lot with this one i kind of okay it, it little some spots darker from being my um, lamp but at the same time uh, you can see a little bit better of the sparkle gems this way look look oh this one angle would be so good maybe if i put my camera close and put a little bit from the top let's let's try let's try it let's try it maybe you will see better this way i don't know it's like almost from the top right now number seven another very very pretty color and i always always say in my unboxing video this is one of my favorite they have in many colors of these gems and they are just stunning stunning they are super sparkle when the light hit them i love to see them on the sunshine so we have them on a each kind of like on the very bottom of the wings there and three on the wing in here one more side And I like that this design is double-sided. So when you have um, for outside, it's probably not a good idea to keep that. But it definitely would be very, very pretty. That's leftovers will be pretty outside in the sunshine. But my fear is that sun will melt this glue and diamonds will start to slip down. At the same time, outdoors, we have lots of dust from cars driving by, so uh, it will be dusty really quick, I think. Unless you put under the resin and then just wipe it later, that would be alright. Okay, so now I will put this white gems that was uh, from original designs, only because this one color I didn't see exactly same uh, I have lots of white gems but this one is like mm, well I wouldn't be have enough if I would be using my leftovers for this particular color so now for the smaller diamonds I will use my little pen like this one and that's also very very pretty rainbow design love this pen very comfortable to work with And let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see something. No. It's getting really dark now. But for these designs, we can get more close. Because this is small diamonds. And let's get started. Just a minute have some little vibe or something okay so here it is diamonds from this pack they are also very pretty we could start from the colorful one but it will be easy for me to hold i guess when i okay where is the camera when i outline hmm okay maybe this way oh i think it's better definitely far far away from me hopefully I can place it on the right spots but at least it's not uh, not uh, what I want to say not for reflecting too much now I find uh, yesterday I was working with my pen that have regular wax inside 
and I have to say that these gems made my wax non-sticky so fast and I tell you why uh, because this diamonds white I can see it that they are very like it's dusty uh, definitely if you wash them before you place them you will have so much better shine and you would be more use of wax before it gets like non-sticky because dust what's making non-sticky so now I have a blue tack inside we'll see if this is make any difference and it will be more sticky maybe longer We will see how long this video will be going. So maybe I will create like just a, a half side of one butterfly, and then um, and then show you the ready one. Because right now we're already in 21 minutes, unless you are ready for a very long video. But I don't know if that. Okay, I have to move a little bit. Butterfly far away from me. Oh no, hold on. To make it close to me, I can just move my camera towards me. Uh huh. So we will place a uh, white color on one wing. And then we will go to see some different colors because the colors is very pretty. And I pick colors from my stash exactly shades that we need. See, it's already I'm losing a little bit grip. I need, I need okay, not no time to waste. I'm just gonna put my blue wax on the top just to fill in I said many times that uh, afternoon later it's not really good idea to record video because of the light lock kinda but at the same time, sometimes I just don't have enough time in a frame that like nobody home and it's still nice and bright from outdoors. Now if I turn off light, it will be a little bit darker. Yeah, definitely I will wipe my design after I create. I'm just going to grab some cloth and wipe gems a little bit. If you have cloth that you wipe in your sunglasses with, that will work as well very well. If you don't have that, you can use paper towel, even dip a little bit in the into the uh, glass cleaner Windex. Okay, isn't that amazing? Let's get some color. I'm just going to grab another tray maybe another tray so I have to get up to get a tray because I move my stuff in here around okay one two three let's get a three trays right now okay we are going to do okay number two for the dark blue I changed camera uh, not camera light position which is look at that nice and bright for you not very good for me but it's okay it's not about me it's all about you and nice now you can see the gems is shining much better this way so now the light are up front of me and I'm not using magnifier so Hopefully my god uh, my eyes not gonna get one can blurry to the end of this video, which more likely will be because the light is kinda shining into my face. 
you will love this oh no my my phone is muted i just check my phone because i just saw some message pop and i was like oh wait a minute i don't want to now to start ring okay there you go this one colorful we might gonna just go and do together the whole thing because it's only so little of each and I will try to do first this butterflies uh, there's a many different lots of different uh, shape different uh, designs so if you don't like this particular butterfly there's a much more there's a like a uh, hummingbirds up there and different kind of birds and butterflies more different designs I think you can find something for your desire And of course, this was my present for my birthday from Fansel. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful surprise. And I absolutely love it. I might well hang here somewhere on my window where I create my craft. Or in my craft room. But it's uh, up there. It's a more like a basement area, right? But in here more sunny side so if i put this on my window it will be so sparkle from even if i look on my window from outdoors it will be look pretty if you put this outside and well it should be outside right because those parts that we um, will have the this parts is supposed to make uh, noises from the wind so it makes it sense to put on a wind, but if you have like maybe maybe you have a big garden that is not like by the road, so you're not getting too much of the uh, shade. I mean the dust and stuff. You can place this in your garden. It will maybe will attract butterflies or more birds. Okay, now number. Two, what is my number two? Oh, okay. I see number two. Number two, we have uh, just a few in here, and the rest is like a body of the butterfly. And to show you diamonds, diamonds is like aqua, it's very beautiful gems. Okay, you see kind of dark, so if I, mm, if I twist this way, then I'm not going to see where I'm placing. Anyway, I will flash it for you, so you can see later. Everything you need to see, where is it? Oh, I place one and I guess another one was stuck to the pen. Place right in the right direction. Okay, now let's build the body. Of this butterfly, his belly. I want to create butterfly by using like from scratch, like to make like a brush or something. By using my loose gems that I have, some chains, felt, um, sequins. I see lots of beautiful design that popping on, for example. If you go on a Pinterest, you can find so many inspiration a lot. So I'm just going to like um, freehand draw a butterfly and try to create. Or you can even outline this butterfly on a felt, on a fabric, on a paper, and to make it like a, a template. But this one may be a little bit too big, but depends on what you're gonna use. Okay, we are done with this color now. I don't even need it, lots of trays because I'm using the same tray as it's just a few gems of each color we need to place now. 
Now, what do we want to do? Maybe number five. Those dark blue, and they are only uh, well, not the same blue. Now it's a different blue, more like blue to turquoise. Kind of, you, yeah, you can see the difference between that blue and this blue. Wow, it's like these gems are so pretty on this butterfly. I'm telling you, I had so much fun to place them. So let, let's do it. Let's do it. This is the color we need to place in here. Just these two spots. And maybe not to take too much um, of your time. I will put white diamonds just by myself because we still need to assemble this thing. Hopefully, I will figure out how to assemble. Fancel also have this pen. I think maybe this one I even ordered from Fancel. Look how nice and sparkle love this design sometimes i always keep grabbing this because it feels like it's thin but then like oh wait a minute let me turn around but this this texture is the most comfortable texture to work with and since we're already talking about this i have another one that's similar but this one have a little bit different texture of almost like a foam but so soft to the touch and they are both the most kind of comfortable the other design that up there that I actually did not order but feels like they have like a pokey spots sharp maybe uh, maybe just for curiosity if you want me to review them I will order maybe for next uh, my review uh, this kind of pen but with the different texture in here uh, because when I look on a picture I feel like it's going to be too sharp for my fingers and after a while can hurt because it will have indentation in your fingers but if you wondering about them if they're comfortable or not maybe they are not sharp maybe it's just um unless some of you own already comment below if you have and if it's comfortable or not uh, if not i can definitely oopsie sorry went close bedroom door was uh, Good Bane. I think you heard that. Okay. Now we're going to use. Let's use pink. It's just a little bit of. Oh, no, kind of quite a bit of pink. Now here is the pink. For the pink we need, well, you can see uh, two in here, a row in here. Those gems look so good. Like the, that's the beauty about uh, different size of gems. It create so much more like definition and more character and that's what I like when people do embroider and stitch a 3d project little different characters like a fruits or vegetables or bugs or butterflies uh, with different kind of gems sizes and shapes love that kind of stuff so I really want to try it and I have everything for it I just need a time I just need a time. Oh, so pretty, isn't it? Are you diamond painting or cross stitching? I cross stitched this morning then I 
recorded video review that you watched yesterday. So this is my second video to record today. And by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, I well, I think I forgot. As you watching this video, it will be Sunday, which is Mother's Day in Canada. I don't know if every country celebrates same day or not. To all of you mom and grandmas, mom's moms, I wish you all the best. Whatever you wish for yourself, may your wishes come true. To every mom out there, you are beautiful, you are the kindest person in a whole wide world. Oh, and I miss my mom so much. Good thing my mom's still here in this world, so I can give her a call on Sunday. Uh, because I'm recording this video on Friday. So I definitely will give my mom a call and I will talk to my two sons that are far away from me so I can, uh, well, my son um, who's in the military, he definitely will call me, but my son in Ukraine, uh, I don't know if Ukraine also have a Mother's Day, uh, same day or not, so he might not going to notice. So I'm just going to call him to hear his voice and that's from mama is the best thing ever when I can connect with my kids. So yes, to all your mom, from me to you, my love unconditional. Now one more color left, that is purple. Now this jar that I have in here, accidentally I put two different kind of gems because to me they were um, same when I did at night my organizing but then I look in the daytime and look one is a darker one is a lighter so the pack that I received with this butterfly it's the darker so I'm just going to pick the best one those darker one and sun came out nicely blinding me right in my eye let me put my blinds a little bit down to hide oh good i can see uh okay so i have to pick the brightest one purple and here is the bum of the butterfly So if you are mom, I hope kids spoil your rotten. And if you have a mom, don't forget to give her a big, huge hug and kiss and tell her how much you love her, how much she means to you, and just well, we have to love our moms every single day, not just on the Mother's Day. For those of you who don't have a mom anymore, send your good prayers to heaven and tell that you remember about your mom, that she always on your mind. Maybe angel from heaven, moms, will come and visit you in a shape of butterfly or birds or a rainbow in the sky. Or sometimes you can find a one cent money and that's the says that uh, angels from heaven let us know that they are 
around us if you find some penny. Oh, that would be so good for right now to finish this diamond painting because right now the sun came out from my neighbor house across the street and it just perfectly shooting <laughs> on my table so maybe while it's still kind of sun coming out in here let me see how it's sunny you can see the tripod legs but that's okay look at it we're going to have a looking better butterfly so anyway my friends uh, not to burn you out after butterfly how this is going to look when it's all done I'm just gonna magically flip and this side is already done because I finished that yesterday where is where is where is more, more, the, more light we need a more light look how gorgeous this butterfly love those gems it's so pretty so pretty look at those, look at those gems oh I don't even need to go outside it's so pretty sun right in a right angle right now even if I let me just close my light in here and try to wiggle my butterfly just on the sun now I need to open my blinds uh, look at that look at that look at that isn't it gorgeous I'm trying to find a but sunny with no tripod on the table where <laughs> what, what is this making a shadow what is this oh my my gems okay there you go my friends look at that can we see this beautiful sparkle okay I see my battery is flashing so I'm going to turn off my camera finish the side and we're going to assemble my friends excuse me for that uh, a ring <laughs> light ring from my magnifier I have to kind of have the because it's getting dark so I did finish now from this angle from far look how gorgeous and while I were finishing white I figure out that I missed two blue that's in here for the butterfly eyes it's got two blue in here so I add that now it's all finished from both sides it is absolutely stunning it's stunning from far better because it's shining so can you imagine how beautiful this will be I'm shooting all those stars outside and the sun I just I don't know if gems would be slipping down from glue getting very hot but let's assemble when I'm looking on this piece of paper it says that I need to use 16 centimeters of this thing I thought that's already pre-cut but it's not so first what I want to see if this is going to be enough so I will untangle and measure because we need one two three four five six six pieces by 16 centimeters so I have my measurement in here centimeters well it doesn't matter this this centimeters the same thing so let's say in here so this is 16 16 centimeters so I need one two three four five six so basically I will fold six times so this is two make sure kind of even three four five and six okay it's six and I still have look at that wow okay I have pretty good excess of this leftovers so that that's good so um no hold on I 
no I think I count right or not if it's a 16 it means we have to fold them on half unless 16 only half no I don't think it's going to be enough for another piece like that no it's definitely not let's say one two three four five six actually it would be enough in here if I use not just um, a link of 16 and then fold on half to create this dangle up there I can make a longer one I think so let's do measuring the other way and if I'm taking too much of your time you don't have to watch the whole thing but I think it's important for those who try to figure out how to do it now I'm gonna put two edges together and let literally just keep folding so I can have all the even pieces without being you know okay so now I fold all my pieces even so let's see how many we would have in here okay so this is one two okay four folds would be this way which is not enough okay so I have to do the first way 16 centimeters kind of feels like it's short I don't know well it was it's a small project so if I have a 16 centimeters and I fold on half so and then I attach in here and tight so it's kind of short that's well, pretty much same as on um, design up there I guess and then we have this plate one two three four what those holes mean I know for here we have to place our uh, this design butterfly will be go under uh, let me check this one more time okay so this will be connected by butterfly okay let me let me read more in here so we have a direction in here place them all place them all and then what I don't see what's about the square holes oh there's some string go through it just hard to understand uh, okay first we need to do is to peel our cover I warn you this is video going to be long but if you're not in a rush I'm not in a rush There is one and here is two. Okay, we have this ready. Now what I see in here is definitely this part connected to butterfly. If we look on this picture in here, you see that? There. It's connecting to butterflies. So maybe this 
part that's what we have to going to be left over the thread to use after this so uh, let me put this first through this butterfly to connect our first piece there we got this now I'm going to put this aside and I will chop okay let me let me read it before I cut so thread the thread into the round hole on the edge and tie the knot okay so here's what we need to do like it's showing right on this picture okay next we create them all tie the six windsham tube to the round hole ah in the middle of the acrylic board with 24 centimeters wires that's it well it's called wires but that's the thing so we have we have six of them but we have in here one two three four five and the other one will go in the center but what i don't understand what's the square hole because you see that there's a, I have to show you, round holes and squares in here. Can you see that? I have, I have to show you. So we will chop 16, I guess. I'm not sure what that will be. Mm. It feels like something go here through the square holes, but let me figure out that. Okay, we will try to tight the first of the small one. Okay, so 16. 16 centimeters right in here. Where is my scissors? We will cut. Then we are going to use. So it's kind of weird that only like a five because it's kind of like you see this two, two, and two. Uh, if you have a five, it should be like one in the center, I would say different color maybe. So now we have this holes in here. Let me bring you close to me. Here is those holes, we're going to get through them like this. And then we're supposed to go through this round holes. One go from one hole, one from another. And then we need to tight the knot in here. So how I will tight knot, it's just um, like I would do I will use my tweezers to help. Oh, okay, so like this. Grab. I missed one. Put together. Keep it down. Not easy, huh? Or it is. No, it's okay. I just need to take it time. It's just on a video. You kind of trying to hurry up. And I will do this kind of knot. Pull them together. If you want to, you can tie like a butterfly knot. But I will do this. And it's supposed to be... And it's supposed to be like this. We have a first part. So now I will put them all together and come back to you. I tied all my pieces. So 16 centimeters go all the way around outside. 24 centimeters well went, you see how it's like go through the two holes. So this, this is my top, they all dangle here on the bottom. 
So it was uh, 24 centimeters go on the center. So if we look sideways, kind of, you can see that that one 24 is longer. Now we need to attach this butterfly. So I kind of, I already figure out after camera how to do it because it was a little bit tricky to understand. So what I do here, this one is 40 centimeters thread. It's like a nylon silky thing. So I put in here in the center of the bottom of my butterfly. Now I will go through the top. There's a square holes in here, okay? Two in here and two in here. So I will go down. From, okay, let's just do one, go down, and then I will get, I think, that's the way, let's see if I'm right or not. Now, second one, go down. And coming out up from another hole. And then what I need to do with these two ends that we pull out from here, we go back into these two holes that we have on the bottom of our butterfly. Okay, let me switch my hands to the right. Okay, I'm gonna hold so this is center. Well, it doesn't matter center or not because we just need to grab this two thread now and tight the knot again. Uh, I think if you can fire like with the candle or um, a lighter and stick together, that would work probably as well, but for now, Let's just tight the knot on this side. Usually I like to help myself with the tweezers. Okay. And this part will be go into my butterfly. So this is our structure. It looks kind of messy because all this thread sticking out um, it's because you're looking from the top. When you will see from the sideway, from the sideway it's going to be kind of like this way. Um, but let's make a noises. <laughs> okay, so it's dark right now to see, but that that's our charm. So. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I will take a picture on the daylight, maybe even outside, and post this so as you will watch video on Sunday. So tomorrow for me it's Saturday. Uh, yeah, Saturday. I will post. The, the, this picture should be on Instagram, how it's uh, look outdoor, on the light, and... Now it's kind of dark and I don't have nowhere to kind of hang and it's it's just dark, not going to look good. But we are assembled together. Who that was um, that was something. And by the way, I still have a little bit left of the thread because uh, how much we have left. I did cut exactly as they say to cut and this is 30 centimeters from side to side and I have silk. Uh, So this is 30 and 30, 40 and a half, so about 40 and a half still left. So that's okay. Now my friends, I want to show you something very, very special. Let me put this aside and I received gift from one of my lovely subscribers. 
Debbie Brown. Uh, that was such a heartwarming stuff. She sent me a gift. Let me show you in the back. She sent me sending you a hug. Here's my card, and I'm not going to um, read on the inside. But oh my God, this is so beautiful thing. So, Deborah Brown, thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you what that is. Oh, look what she made. And she know that I'm going through a difficult time with whatever is going on back home. And I'm just was sick with COVID for a while. So she knit or crochet. I think it's knitting or crochet. Um, kind of like a, a shoulder throw, like a scarf, I would say. Hold on, let me open. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's in the form of kind of like a triangle. You see that? So it's kind of a hug you from, well, here is my, here is my head, here is my neck. So this will go around my shoulder. I will try to post a picture, uh, take a picture, maybe Catherine will take a picture of me. But look at that, look at this beautiful design. And that is designed something very similar than when I was a child, my mom teach me how to uh, crochet like this. And yeah, this is definitely crochet. And uh, just a little tiny different, but that, that's the idea. And I love that pattern. I even wanted to uh, to make something. And I was like, when I received this, oh, it's so good. First of all, color. Now color, a little bit disguise. It doesn't show you real color. Maybe if I bring you clothes. Or it's more of the green. It's kind of grayish on the camera right now. Not the. You see, you need a daylight for, to bring a real color but a uh, very soft very snuggle so now when i'm going to wear this on my shoulders deborah i will think about you like you are giving me a hug so when i uh, work at night and do some uh, craft in here i usually um, wear the house cold because i always cold and then five minutes later i'm already hot then I take it off, then I cold again, then I put it on. <laughs> so now this will be just perfect because it still have a hole to air circulate around to go to my body and th the coziness of this, I can even uh, tie the ends to sit on my shoulders without slipping off my shoulders and I can cross stitch, I can diamond paint. Wow, thank you so much, my dear friend. This is absolutely amazing. So. Yes, she is my lovely viewer, subscriber, I hope so, subscriber, yes. And she is it's just, I have such, so many loyal people that uh, who's watching my videos every single day and to be uh, treated like, it's like a family member, like to to give this love to me and kindness to, spend your money to ship this gift to me and knowing that you know uh, you put so much love and prayers into this project and then you send it away to me that is hard warming thing so thank you so very much i will try to take a picture i will ask catherine to take a picture of this i will pose and I will post in my Facebook group as well, also on my uh, Instagram. Because this is a crafty item, because we crochet, right? So I will post there. Thank you, thank you so very much, Deborah. Uh, Deborah or Debbie? I know that uh, usually Debbie is like a short, friendly way, or Deborah depends how who like to be called. So I don't know. Well, thank you so much. This is wonderful. I will use this every time I do my crafting in here. And now, my friends, thank you so much 
for diamond painting with me this beautiful butterfly and I will totally uh, create more videos about this uh, on the outside and post little snaps on my Instagram so you can see how it looks like maybe even when I do go outside the wind will play with this little um, pipes I would call and create a beautiful music thank you so much for watching and 